So you're here at our first burn. Today we're cooking for about 250 people. We're doing two cooks today. We're doing a cook now, obviously, and um, the stones have been heating. They'll heat for three hours, and then we'll put the food in. So we'll put the food in around about 8.30 and pull it up around 11.30. I mean, then I've got to turn that pit around and then start a hangi for a 5.30 pull out tonight. So it's, a, it's going to be pumping this uh, little hangi pit. We couldn't build, go too far into the to the dirt here, otherwise we'll hit the railway station. So uh, we uh, actually put a, a raised hangi pit similar to our one on Queen's Wharf. This will work for what we're doing here. So celebrating Matariki and um, what better way to celebrate it than um, the oldest dish in New Zealand, the hangi. How hard is it to make these hangi pits? Well they're, they're basically they're sleepers really, obviously bracketing them, joining them together, locking them in and then filling it with dirt. There's about three and a half metres of dirt here which is a good size. Probably take us half a day to do the whole process so it isn't too bad actually. Are you guys selling or are you just giving these hangi for free? Yeah, no, so we are selling uh, hangi out of our food trailer just over here. The other thing too is it's more of an educational thing. There's a lot of schools that are coming now, uh, coming to, the, um, to this event. And so for us it's more about um, spreading the word of hangi, sharing it. You know, where else have you seen a hangi being done in the CBD? Uh, I think this is a first uh, right here amongst all these uh, skyscrapers. I think it's important because um, there's nowhere in Auckland you can buy hangi seven days a week or probably in the country that it's in ground hangi. And um, this is the oldest dish in New Zealand. Everyone's saying, what's our national dish? This is the national dish. It's the oldest dish. And uh, who taught you how to make hangi? You learn from your elders and I was fortunate my, to learn from my grandfather. Well, he taught my father and my father taught me and my brothers. and. Um, but I never met my grandfather. I'm cooking with his rocks, you know, which are 100 years old, some of them. And so I hold on to the tonga. Um, but I know when I cook, he's cooking with me. When you're cooking, you remember what you're taught as a young age. And so you've always got that in the back of your mind. Once the food goes in, that's it. You've got no more ch chances of rectifying it or getting it right. It's in. So you've got to make sure that it's prepped. The, the stones are hot. They're at the right temperature. These stones get up to 700 Celsius, so that's hotter than any conventional oven. That's the secret, is getting those stones really hot. How significant is having this during this week, Matariki? For us, it's, it's about sharing that knowledge and um, a hakari, a celebration of the new year coming. That's, that's what it's all about.